people <laughs> yes I've been watching overcharged egg again <sighs> dear look if I don't have the time to play my game because I'm one of these gamers who when I start playing I'll play for six hours straight so when I don't have six hours spare which is you know on a regular I uh, will watch Overcharged Egg or Biffar do something in their cities and then I just am I've got that little fix and it's good <laughs> you guys are going what is she talking about city skylines is what I'm talking about for those of you that don't game oh, okay now we've got a little we've cords a little skew if here all right let's give this a quick was okay so now I just want this oh my god move that over there so I don't put the cord in it again I'd want this just emulsified because I'm going to have to mix this more and I because I want to do because we're doing blood orange I want to make a really deep orange but also want to have a little bit of like white white to pour in so it looks like the pith so the white part of an orange anyway but I'm one, I also want to make the the orange like a reddish orange like a blood orange so yeah so we'll be doing a little bit more mixing so I want this just emulsified enough so that I can pour off some and put it in there and then pour in some titanium dioxide and mix it up at least I called it the right thing this time was titanium dioxide not doxide <laughs> I'm also not going to worry too much about um, putting any fragrance in it either because um, I don't actually want very much that would be plenty um, this says nothing about vanillin it's just blank um, it says 10% uh, usage so that means this I assume this means this one's not as diluted so I just again just went my, with my regular 3% oh my god oh my god okay that's leaking <laughs> um, there's now splatters of titanium dioxide all over the floor <laughs> whatever now I want that super white it may get glycerin rivers but I don't mind but I just want it really really white so so I'm gonna give this a whiz and then just set it aside <laughs> also give it time for all the bubbles to settle <laughs> all right so on to our little science experiment so I have no oranges left except for tangelo that's it all my oranges are all gone I've ordered orange pop um, I didn't know I was at a marigold so I didn't order that but it's all good but I want a really really strong color so we're going to have a good dollop of tangelo and then to make the red color I'm going to use a bit of this rosewood so it's kind of a it's kind of an orangey yellow and it's also very sparkly and then just for the sparkles I'm going to add in some garnet sparkle which is a synthetic um, and actually does sparkle in soap so I don't know why it needs sparkles but apparently it does I also have a glitter over here for the end plus I also have that there which I probably should move out of view because it will focus on it probably okay so let's give this a whiz and see what color happens I've got to say I'm not unhappy with that at all I quite like that I think that's gonna look nice with a bit of a white swirl through it um, undecided if I'm gonna do a drop swirl or an in-the-pot swirl that will probably depend upon what the fragrance does more than anything but yeah no I'm not hating on the color I gotta say I quite like that as a blood orange emergency mold just in case the shit hits the fan Just spinning that around just to sort of try and bring up some of those bubbles but that's good all right so in we go a whole lot the whole kit and caboodle now it's doing that white thing which sometimes fragrances do if they're going to rice or accelerate so we'll see what happens that looks like it's riced a little bit 
yeah I think it has just a smidge but it's not bad like I'll give it a, I'll give it a quick whiz though but um it doesn't look too bad yeah, no, it smells bloody beautiful I have put all the bubbles in there now now I'm not too worried about this going a little thick which I mean it, it it's a little thick but it's not like I would say that's a sort of a medium trace um, but I like when two different soap batters are different traces because they do interesting things so because this has got nothing in it although it's got titanium in it so it's probably the same trace honestly yeah no that's good just got some bubbles in it by the looks of it but it doesn't seem you yeah, know they're bubbles definitely bubbles so you can see it okay that's pretty cool make sure I've got all my corners so that all the colour is mixed quite like that um, I don't know you guys in the pot swirl or drop swirl I don't know you know I think I might go I think I might go in the pot I do like a good in the pot I must say I just like swirls more than anything I just like swirls all right let's get you out of there because you're gonna just be in my way I just can't I can see the sparkles so hopefully they'll stay all right so up from really high bloop, 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 bloop. I'll leave some of that for the top Bit of a mix and then let's see what we've got so I'm gonna pour that way that's what I'm gonna do and I'm not gonna move it I'm just gonna pour it until the end because <laughs> you've got to move it at the end wow that's that white sunk considerably didn't it wow that's kind of interesting now I don't know how much that's going to show up that did look kind of subtle didn't it ah, we'll see look it smells nice enough I don't think it's going to matter what the soap looks like it just smells brilliant although you know I only sell online now so no one is actually smelling the soaps anymore which is annoying that's the one thing I miss about the markets is you know I got to talk to people about the soaps and the soap making and the fragrances and I do miss that I must say but I get to talk to you guys instead don't I and a lot of you guys are already soap makers so you know what the hell I'm on about interesting to know what percentage of my viewership is soap makers whoops a daisy <laughs> orange soap gone everywhere you go over there out of the bay. yeah no it'd be it would just be one of those sort of interesting things um look I don't know I think there might be enough white on the top already to not even worry about putting the rest on there So for those of you who don't know that was called an infinity swirl what you do is basically start in the middle go out to the side loop it around go out to the side loop it around and then slowly move down it's um it's like a it's like an elongated figure eight but you move through your soap whilst you're doing it it's a really easy i'm not going to use it I'm not, oh oh i don't know <laughs> there's enough in here it might be just nice to just lay down the side down here yeah an infinity swirl is, is is a way to make your soap look really nice without too much effort <laughs> it's a pretty it's a really pretty swirl yeah 
Yeah, okay. I'm thinking this might be alright. I think there's got to be something different we can do because I don't really want to cover up that swirl that I just did because I think it looks really pretty. So, what we might do is just maybe leave this on the side just like this and not finesse it or anything just make it sort of and then put some glitter just on the white bit see if I was talented like Tiggy I could do her cool spoon over but I'm not even going to attempt to do that because I know it's not going to work <laughs> I just know it's not so uh, that's Future Primitive Soap for those of you who don't know who Tiggy is she is wonderful to watch she's very she's very relaxing she's very sort of I don't know I really enjoy watching Tiggy because she's just like I said she's just very relaxing to watch so I'm just playing here you guys just um, she's English so you know I don't, I don't know what that means that she's relaxing I guess because you know she's just nice and quiet and not overbearing like me or anything you know she's just she just soaps talks about what she's watched on telly and things like that you know Talks about, you know, what's going on in her little village and no, I like I, I she's one soap that I really enjoy watching because she's just so that's why I like watching Keely because she's just quiet and calm and like everything I'm not. <laughs> but we all know that already. Okay, so I'm going to attempt <laughs> to open this container. Oh. I was going to bring out a container to show you guys. I forgot. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so let's see if we can just put the sprinkles just on here. I don't know. This probably looks stupid, but whatever. I don't even care. Look at me not giving a shit. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. I think it might just be me. I think I might be having a hot flush, which shits me because I haven't had one for two days. <sighs> I'm so over being old. <laughs> so over it. Uh, now it's definitely a, um, a, you can really tell it's a hormonal thing, like, because they were bad there for about five days and that was just those five days of the month when other things normally happen so I said to Brie I said this is awesome I said this is my second month without a period and she goes congratulations you're old <laughs> you bitch you bloody bitch <laughs> oh oh I was supposed to pour soap in this thing well shit that's not happening <laughs> I wanted an orange flower god damn it Okay, so that's, yeah, it's really not that good, is <laughs> it? It's kind of stupid looking. Oh, well, it'll be fine. It's still soap. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Oi! That's still reasonably fluid. Like, they're still moving. You could play with this, I reckon. You could definitely play with this fragrance. So, another good one. Another good one, and that's from... Aussie candle supplies as well so oh okay that's probably someone asking if the van's still available and then they never message me back about anything else I'm sick of that oh guys if you don't have to don't ever sell a vehicle <laughs> that's my advice for the day all right I will see you shortly for the cutting ta-da yellow I have to say this one has faded considerably like it was reasonably strong yesterday and today it there's bugger all smell like it's still in the mold obviously but still there we go she's popped now i forgot to take photos of this yesterday 
on the top so I had to squirt it with um uh, whatever that stuff's called. What's that stuff called? Isopropyl alcohol. Um, it has ashing, which is unusual because I actually did do a uh, water disc can on this, so that's kind of odd. Don't usually get any ashing if I've done a water discount, so very interesting. Very interesting. Alright. Could you just go through the soap, mate? You're a bit used. Oh, okay. Well, it's done a number of things by the looks of it here. Uh, can't really see on that piece. That piece looks alright, right? Yeah, now look at this. That's really odd. It's discoloured, I think. Is what's going on in there. Well that's not really brown or is it? I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. Uh, I don't know. It looks kind of weird like the swells are nice. What did we do? We did it in the pot didn't we? I think. God I don't, know. I don't remember. It was yesterday. <laughs> but yeah you can see it's definitely discoloured. I don't know uh, what was this one? Blood Orange. Uh, it's got... N no, nothing is listed for van vanillin, so... I'm gonna guess it probably has it then. But it's... Well, I suppose sometimes citruses do discolour orange or yellow, so... I mean, I'm not hating on it. It looks like it's just, oh, look, a pair of angel wings. <laughs> Can you guess I watched Lucifer yesterday? I watched the last episode that's on Netflix and it's like, oh my god, really? You're leaving it there? But, um, yeah. It definitely looks like I've used just a tiny little bit of white and then a pale orange rather than just white. So I would assume, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I would assume that it's discoloured. So, but the orange still, it looks quite nice. Not not dissing on not hating on that at all so yeah. it's kind of a weird oh that's right because I poured it in one end and just let it just go through didn't I yeah. okay well that's kind of an interesting um, swirl for that then so the posty wow it's a bit early yeah, it's supposed to. What time is it? No, oh, no, it's one o'clock. I just slept in. <laughs> uh, I did actually. I didn't get up till half past ten today. So, yeah. Okay, there's a chunk of really bright orange in there. The inside, it's, yeah. It's definitely not as strong as it was yesterday, that's for sure. Definitely not as strong. I didn't bring out a basket to take the soap inside. You basket. You bloody basket. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know. It's just... They're not quite as nice as I was hoping, I must say. I was sort of expecting the white to be really white, like... The in you know the white bits inside the so is it is it the pith? I think it is. And um, yeah, it's really not what that looks like. So the top looks alright. I don't hate. I don't hate it. I'm just that white bit just looks stupid. I wish I hadn't have done that. But I can um, plane that off. But then we'll lose the glitter. So I probably won't plane it off even though I could. Alright, well that's it. Thank you very much for Oh, okay, things falling over there, scaring the shit out of me. I will see you for some new product announcements probably before you see this one. Will you? Yeah, um, yes, more than likely. <laughs> Alright, it, it makes no sense anyway. Alright, <clears throat> bye. Ooh.